got you at their place too. Did you feel like this was a, sort of a similar uh, style of play as the first time? Yeah, I mean, the, the both games were very physical. Um, both games, you know, at the end of the day, came down to a play or two here and there. And both games, they made the play and we did not. And uh, sometimes that happens in basketball <clears throat> or in whatever sport that you're playing. But uh, we've got to be better so that it doesn't come down to one play. You know, we were up. What we get up? 12, 14, 13 was our largest lead, right? And when you get up and have a 13 point lead, um, you know, you got to hold on to it. Instead, we go into the, we're up 13 with four minutes to go in the first half and go into halftime up, what, four? You know, you've got a, you've got a chance to kind of, I don't want to say knock them out, but you've got a chance to kind of kick them while they're down. And uh, unfortunately, we made a couple turnovers took a couple bad shots and uh, we let them back in the game and, and you, you can't do that coupled with uh, with some some missed uh, defensive assignments or defensive lapses. I felt like you guys had a fast start but then you looked a little bit disjointed offensively for good stretches of the rest of the night. Well <clears throat> I'll have to watch the film to make a little better determination of that but uh, I did think that we did not get enough movement within our motion offense and I thought that we didn't get enough movement against their zone either you know we shot a lot of quick threes in the first half luckily we made you know what seven of 16 seven of 14 whatever that number is and then the second half you shoot to a 10 um, but to, to the guys credit they listened. we threw the ball inside we got a lot done on the interior with Rodney in the second half um, but I think that when we watch that film that it's going to come down to defense and I think it's going to come down to rebounding. I would be shocked if that's not where we lost the game. Talk about the second half paint touches with Ronnie. Was that an effort to try to slow the game down in that second half? Not so, such an effort to slow the game down as much as to get the best percentage shot. When you're not making three-pointers and, you know, we went two of ten in the second half, it doesn't make sense to shoot a bunch of threes. You know, Don was the last one to get your tenth, but really you're two of nine. So, um, you know, we, you've just got to play to your strengths, and Rodney was doing great. You know, Baba didn't get it going offensively tonight, but um, Rodney in the second half was fantastic, probably his best offensive game of the year. Yeah, he was really kind of just finishing everything down there. I think what was it, like eight of nine in the field? Um, the best I've seen him, I think, offensively. Yeah, eight of nine, 17 points, and uh, six rebounds in 23 minutes of play, which is a, a good stat line for him. Um, obviously, he had a one there at the very end that I wish he would have made, um, but he, he had a good night. Um, but we've got to be better uh, all around as a team. Of course, you guys still have a chance to tie or even win um, with the last possession. What was your, your view of that? It looked like he at least had a decent shot at the yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, I thought when it left Don's hands, it looked pretty good to me. Um, and, and, you know, that's a shot that he's made. Um, we talked a little bit. Obviously, we didn't have any timeouts, but I pulled Don over prior to, uh, prior to the free throw being shot. And I said, you've got 5.5 seconds. That's plenty of time to get the ball down the floor and get the ball to the rim. Enoch tried, right? He tried to get the ball to the rim. And at the end, it kind of closed up on him. He passed to Don. And I thought that Don had a relatively good look, you know. So uh, and unfortunately for us, it did not go in. And, and again, credit Sam Houston State. They did a, a fantastic job tonight. All season, there's no doubt that this has been a fast team right now leading the country in tempo. Um, it seems the teams who can keep up do keep up and teams that can't don't. Um, what's the separation like going forward of teams who can keep up also trying to get the edge in winning the game as well? Um. I think I understand your question. Uh, you know, I, I think that most of the teams other than Florida International in our league would rather have a, a lower possession game than we do, right? So they're going to try and slow the game down a little bit. I think tonight, yeah, tonight we had 60 shots. They had 65, you know. Um, that's probably a high-end possession game for Sam Houston State, um, whereas it's not a high in possession game for us. So, I mean, when you get into conference play, you know, it's a battle of wills. Are we going to insert our will and we can make them play our, our style of play or are they going to be able to slow it down and make us play their style of play? I think tonight, um, especially in the second half, we didn't get much in transition. And largely that, you know, part of that was because our, our defense was not nearly what it needed to be. But I don't know. Um, I'll watch the film and, and uh, have a better idea later tonight. 
Uh, Christian is back in concussion protocol. Um, so he had practiced with this for a few days and he dove on the floor for a loose ball and uh, had some symptoms come back in, in today's game. You know, any kind of stuff like that, they put you right back into concussion protocol. Was he just out of the gym? Yeah, well, when you're in, in concussion protocol, um, I, I'm not a doctor, but it, they typically tell you to kind of stay in a dark room, no electronics, no loud noises, and obviously Diddle was very loud tonight. Um, you know, I thought the, uh, the fans did a good job. I thought the students did a good job, um, and, and we didn't deliver. I'm, I'm really disappointed for that and uh, apologetic for that because I had hoped to uh, obviously give them a, a great showing tonight and come out with a win. Yeah, I mean it's conference play, guys. And there's, there's, you can't wallow in your sorrows, right? <laughs> you better flip the page later tonight, and uh, you better get ready for Middle Tennessee because Middle Tennessee, they don't feel sorry for us. You know, I don't know if they won tonight, but. They don't, they're going to come in here trying to kick our butt. I mean, obviously, that's a rivalry. Um, you've got 100 miles of hate from there to here. And, and uh, I'm sure that, that Coach McDevitt will have those dudes ready to play. And so we've got to um, get over this. And we've got to learn from tonight. And then we've got to be ready uh, for Saturday night and be better. You know, we've got to continue to just be better, and myself included. Um, so, so Saturday night is, is a, the most important thing that we have to think about right now. And, and that's what matters right now. We've got to change the page and, and focus on that. Thanks, guys.